What if Easter eggs could hide themselves? We hide them for Easter each year, but it seems like a time saver if the eggs just did it themselves. And once they're hidden, we hunt them. But shouldn't they be able to run away to protect their precious goodies? Is this what the world looks like if eggs can feel fear? I think we should find out. I started off thinking I could finally make use of a cheap robotic kit I had bought a while ago, but the cheap robotic kit was indeed cheap, so I instead decided to repurpose some old parts I had. Next up was finding some sort of wheels. The ideal solution there was obviously random lids, which happens to be a throwback to the Easter Bunny I made out of junk that kinda kicked off the channel. What are you doing? I'm making a robot. Can you tell? No. <laughs> What do you mean? This is an incredible robot. I connected the wheels to the motors and before I knew it, it was code time. Beautiful. The plan is to have the robot turn around and run away whenever it senses someone. It's running away. It tried to, but you're Where's holding it up in the air. Once that was working, it was time to round out the build with some more random junk for added stability. These pieces are from an upcoming build and fit the wheels perfectly. Once enough brute force is applied. Then I found this board and glued all the various parts onto it. Before long, things were looking good. That's the stuff. Once it dried, it was time to see if it actually worked how it was supposed to, and it did. Fantastically. Yay! But you may notice the distinct lack of egginess from the build so far, so it's time to rectify that. All right, let's do our experiment. It's gonna be a little messy. We have these massive egg molds, so I figured that'd make sense as a way to make a big egg for a big egg robot. But by the end of this, I was pessimistic. I think this is gonna be too heavy anyway, so worst case, we had fun. So it just became a fun Easter activity instead. This means it was time to resort to actual sorcery, aka 3D printing. But this project was a last minute idea, which is fine because I don't have time for anything anyway, but it did mean that by Easter morning I only had these two pieces for the top of the egg, and these hadn't even finished curing yet. So it was time for plan E, the egg swarm. Finally, it was time for the great unveiling. You wanna see the robot? <laughs> it's running from you. What? It's escaping. Where's it going? It has plans. It was a hit. <laughs> oh. Run! Stuck? Yeah, stuck. You freed it! Run, robot, run! Whee! Whoa! We're going everywhere! Run! <laughs> That's when the swarm of eggs ran off to live its best life on a farm somewhere. Or not.